Here are 21 ways you can use AI to make things easier, feel happier and just be more productive every day. So I will be splitting this video roughly into different areas of life, starting with productivity and work, then learning and research, health and wellness, creativity and fun and some daily utility tasks or tools that I use. So on a day to day basis, I use the basic models instead of buying subscriptions because those subscriptions are pretty expensive. So all we need to do is just be better at the prompt engineering part of it. And I think that should be good enough. Let's just start with productivity and work. And I think my top usage is to just plan my week and daily tasks. So I write down all the list of my daily tasks and weekly tasks that I need to do this week. And I give it to chat GPT, ask it to apply the 80 20 principle. So it gives me the tasks and prioritize the task which can give me the 80% of uh, results and another use case is to just ask chat GPT to plan your day using the deep work principles and it will assign different windows to your tasks and you can just follow along navigating any kind of work conversations for example related to promotion related to any kind of negotiations that I need to do chat GPT really helps me in putting my point forward I just explain the scenario that I'm in and what kind of output do I want from that situation and chat GPT helps me prepare the right kind of message so I can put my point Point forward summarizing meetings using Google AI or summarizing any kind of long conversations while I was on break really helps me to know if there are any tasks that are pending on me or any kind of discussion that I was missed out from and of course I use AI to do any kind of coding that I'm doing uh, using cursor to uh, develop any kind of apps if I have to give access to the code base or if I want quick app idea that I have that I want to just use I use Firebase Studio to uh, quickly create apps with any prompts that we have. So generating YouTube scripts using ChatGPT is really helpful. I just give it the idea and the concept that I have of the video and it helps me to structure and provide me different options for hooks uh, which I can use and uh, just work more around. Now let's move on to learning and research and any kind of AI tools have really improved the way you can research or learn things. C creating learning plans is also something that is really helpful. For example, I wanted to learn Flutter mobile development for my work and I just uh, asked ChatGPT to give me a learning plan for next 30 days and it gave me a list of resources and how can I navigate to be a good uh, mobile developer by the end of 30 days. Break breaking down really hard topics or complex things that you're trying to learn in work or in any kind of situation is also really helpful. I really use uh, notebook LLM to do this kind of stuff, any kind of notes that you prepare around any of the concept that you're trying to learn. You can also create a brain map and uh, whatever PDF that you're trying to learn or read through. If it's too boring for you, you can just create a podcast out of it. I've tried it with a few PDFs that I was trying and and uh, I was just able to go through that whole PDF or that concept while just taking a walk in the park because I was now able to listen to it. So asking AI to portray the knowledge or act as any kind of famous person that you really follow online. So I've recently used Claude to act as Andrew Huberman. It was able to answer all my questions uh, from any of his research. So practicing interview questions is really good with ChatGPT. I usually ask ChatGPT to uh, help me with situational rounds, which I'm not that really good at. And it helps me to ask or uh, form that kind of questions and uh, any kind of answer that I give back, it gives me feedback. So that helps me improve the process and uh, be better at interviews. So checking meal calories or whatever I'm eating, I can just click a picture and upload it to ChatGPT and it can give me how many calories does that meal have or how many calories have I already had in the day. And if I'm under my calorie limit, I do a combination of workout and running. So I just ask ChatGPT to prepare a weekly schedule for me to do a combination combination of it and by any chance if I miss a workout I can just ask it that I've missed the workout it can just restructure the week and those workouts so that I still get the optimum results this is so much better than using just a normal workout planning app because those kind of apps don't do that so Claude is really good at creating journaling prompts any kind of discussions that you've had with Claude you can just ask it to prepare journaling prompts because it already knows a few things about you so if you're trying to cook something and you do not really have all the ingredients you can just uh, click a picture of whatever you have and show it to chat GPT and it can really recommend you all the recipes that you can make using just those ingredients. So next is creativity and fun and using chat GPT for uh, Instagram captions and brainstorming YouTube title ideas has been really helpful and any kind of research that needs to be done on a latest topic perplexity is really good at searching across the internet. 
uh, to get that kind of information. Creating Notion templates is really easy with ChatGPT now. Uh, so any kind of idea or tracker that I want to build, I can just ask ChatGPT to create a Notion template out of it and I can just copy paste that and put it in Notion. And I have a ready to start working Notion dashboard on which I can make any changes, but at least it is a good start. So exploring different insights about life decisions, doing comparisons in the different things that you're planning to do. I really use ChatGPT sometimes to just ask it how my next five years are going to look like if I keep doing this or whatever I'm doing in the week, for example, what kind of technology I'm working at work and uh, where am I posting my content, either it's Instagram or YouTube or what kind of content I'm posting, how often I'm posting. It just gives me uh, outlook of uh, how next five years would look like if I'd keep doing this and if it has any changes or tweaks that it wants me to do in my week or what kind of direction that I need to take. You do not have to take it as like a strict rule, but it is something that gives you a third person perspective, which sometimes you really need. Summarizing long articles and long PDFs or doing any kind of designing work is something that I really use ChatGPT to do. I mean, so for example, this room that I am in, I use ChatGPT to uh, help me just plan and uh, place where do I need to keep the bookshelf, what kind of posters I can put and uh, it helps Help me like an interior designer i just needed a few ideas or a basic structure of ideas and i was able to build on top of it so creating trip planning or creating quick itineraries with the chat gpt and claude both i wanted to uh, prepare for a long trip of uh, just working as well as roaming around the city i just asked chat gpt to help me plan and uh, recommend me the right cafes from where i can work from or any co-working spaces it gave me a list of all the places and uh, which were nearby to the spots that I also wanted to explore so I can also work and also explore and I think this kind of uh, research if you end up doing yourself it just takes a lot of your cognitive load as well as a lot of your time shopping comparisons are really easy with chat GPT it is able to actually go through different sites and uh, get you a list of comparison I was able to make a right decision for my smartwatch that I was trying to buy and it gave me all the different uh, factors that I need to consider and what amount of running that I do and what kind of a watch would be the right one for me so a lot of times we need clarity fast in some things and uh, searching on google kind of sucks in that way so any basic questions that i have around medical issues or therapy or related to architecture or designing i just asked chat gbd or claude and it gives me that basic answers that i really needed at that point of time so thanks a lot for watching this video and i hope you found this list a little helpful and if you did then do subscribe to my channel and do leave a like see you in the next one